think I might have bought too many chips. I was just watching the news and Kalbi, the famous snack maker in Japan, announced that they were going to stop the majority of its potato chips product lines. And because of this, you can see that chips are now going for about $18 a bag. really not that bad. I mean, there's other companies that make chips and it's just chips, but I'm a huge fan of kettle chips and Calbee is one of the few companies that make kettle chips. What's more important is that all of the potatoes that they use for their chips come from Hokkaido. Now, what makes Hokkaido potatoes so special is 79.5% of Japan's potatoes come from Hokkaido. What's even more interesting is that 59 varieties of potatoes, 41 just all across Hokkaido and 18 regional are very different. The texture of them are different. The taste is different, the size is different, the color is different. So there's 59 varieties of potatoes that taste completely different. And for these chips, they use a very specific type out of those 59 types. Once they stop making these potato chips, there are no more potato chips that will be from Hokkaido because one, they don't have the resources, and two, the only company that was making them is not gonna make them anymore. So we're off to the supermarket to grab some chips. Hopefully they're not sold out yet. at the supermarket. Got to the supermarket, but we're really hungry now, so I'm gonna grab some lunch first. So, we just finished lunch, and we're at the supermarket now. Good selection of chips here, but none of them are the ones I'm looking for. So I'm gonna try a couple of convenience stores and another supermarket. Well, they still have some of the chips. The majority of ones from Calbi are gone though. You can see all the empty racks. Pretty crazy. I've had just about every single possible flavor of Katage potato chips that Calbi makes. And I can tell you that the seaweed, the nori flavor, it's awesome. The plum and sesame oil one, also awesome. Their Kanto Soy sauce flavor, also incredibly awesome. Black pepper, awesome. Salt, equally, even though it's very simple, also awesome. So when I heard they have edamame, which is a super popular snack in Japan, and cheese, which is, who doesn't like cheese, and they combined into one chip for a limited time, I just knew I needed to get those chips, and that's why I bought so many. And so I'm really excited now because they're no longer making these chips, and I have a good stockpile of them for the next year. The supermarkets that we went to have not had any of the chips. I'm going to try another supermarket and hopefully it'll be the last one where they actually have the flavor I want. They, most of the supermarkets have every single flavor but the flavor I've been looking for. It really seems that they are sold out everywhere. So, in general, these chips are not that special. They used to have them in every single convenience store, every single supermarket, 
um, rest stops just about everywhere you can think. The problem is, like, I, like they said in the news, the variety of potatoes that they use are basically completely gone because of the typhoon that happened last year. flavors in order to focus on a few. If they don't have them at this supermarket, I give up. I've gone to 10 supermarkets and 5 convenience stores. No! Damn it. Uh, wait. They have some. So that literally took the entire day to get these chips. Every single store was either sold out of it or just not carrying it at all. I realized that I was on a mission to get as many of them as possible before they stopped making them completely. I think I did a good job. You win! Perfect! So I got the limited edition and then pretty much extremely rare now edamame and cheese flavor. This is the combination of kettle chips, awesome Japanese snacks, and cheese. I'm so excited about this. This is what the bag looks like. It's just a normal 63 gram bag. And there's a picture of the edamame and the cheese. And this is what the chips look like. So I'm finally gonna taste some. I'm really excited about this. A little bit hard to open. And this is what it looks like. It's a relatively small chip. I'm really excited about this. It smells like edamame and has a after smell and not a after note of cheese. I've got the chips and it's time to taste. So the bag does say edamame and cheese. And that's exactly what it tastes like. I was expecting something more special. It's like when you get Doritos that say nacho cheese, you don't just expect the cheese flavor. It's like a little more special than the instant cheese that you get at like a 7-Eleven or something. Yeah, this is not one of my favorite flavors. 